guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. So we got a global data download here. This is the data download for part two. Um, and we have the release dates for several of the key pieces um, of part two of global six year anniversary. Um, two of these are just like absolutely major, huge like players for like a lot of free to play players with LR Roshi and Inti Y Goku. Again, both of them are just absolutely major, right? Um, Roshi, probably the best free to play unit in the game. Uh, Inti Y Goku within the realm of one of the top easy A's in the game, I would say, right? Um, and we can see that this is going to start on July 19th. Uh, now we are, I already looked at the time, I believe... The 25th um, is when we are going to see LR Golden Frieza and 17. I think those two units are going to drop on July 25th is when we're going to see them. Uh, because that is when the 3 plus 1 discounts end for the UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta banner over on Global, right? On JP, the banners, uh, the, like the discounts for the banners ended. And then literally was immediately replaced by 17 and Golden Frieza's banner. And then also the three super thank you ticket banners uh, also were sort of released at the same time, right? With the super thank you ticket, you'll be able to summon on any one of those three banners. Um, now, briefly just going over, again, a bunch of the stuff that's here. Um, we do have the new uh, Patan battle is coming. Um, this is the most recent one that happened over on JP, right? The most recent set. Uh, what this is, is this is going to be, um, the Android Saga, as well as the Tapion movie, the Wrath of Dragon movie, um, is basically what this set is right here. Uh, funny enough, we do have a new set for Patan Battle coming out, um, I believe it's either on the 25th or the 26th for JP, and we saw an image of Cell, so they're going to do Cell Saga. I assume they're probably going to do this a lot, which is where they'll drop like a Saga, and then also maybe have some key pieces from a corresponding movie. So maybe they'll do like the Cell Saga, and then they'll also include like Turles movie stickers as well, right? Maybe they'll have like LR Turles in there, AGL Turles, you know, like the physical spirit bomb Goku. Um, I would say something like that uh, does make a lot of sense, uh, right, for... Um, uh, like, new Patan battle sets and stuff like that. This one is fun. Um, the other thing, too, is I believe this set right here, this, like, like this Patan battle, it includes characters from set 1 and 2, right? So you'll be able to get all the Namek Saga characters, uh, like, during this Patan battle. But in the future, uh, there's one more Patan battle that comes after this. The one after this is the one that comes with the amazing update where... Uh, when you finish a fight, there's no cooldown. You can immediately just, like, go do that fight right away. Um, and then that one is only set two. Uh, the Namek Saga was not present in that set. So, you know, that's the other thing, too, with the one coming up on JP next week. Um, we'll see. Is it, like, set one, two, and three? Is it just gonna, only going to be set three? Like, we'll see how they're going to do that. Um, but that could be a good way, right, for them to sort of be cycling through Patan Battle and then cycling through which sets are available, right? Because, you know, some people get very, very unlucky um, trying to get, you know, like, uh, like I saw a lot of people in particular on Global had a lot of trouble with the physical Kaioken Goku. Um, gave a lot of people trouble trying to get them, right? Um, we also have a lot of, again, a lot of the obvious stuff is in here. Tian and Roshi is in here. LR Roshi, Krillin and 18, physical UI. Um, we got all the medals for them into UI Goku's EZA, the medals. And then, of course, you know, again, it's it includes sets one and two right here. Um, real fast, I actually want to pull up. Oh, actually, I could do it right here. I want to pull up in UI Goku's EZA, right? So he is going to be weak to rapid growth. Um, I don't think this one, I don't remember this really being difficult at all. Um, Kefla is on the banners. I feel like Kefla is one of the more common ones that people were probably pulling, but... Um, I think you could probably get away with, like, LR... Well, let me see. So, at his last stage, he's immune to AGL and tech. Yeah, LR Gohan. You probably, though, could just do, like, a Kamehameha build or something. Well, no, because, like, this guy is erroneously not on the Kamehameha category, so that actually would not work. 
Uh, I mean, you could do Vegeta. If you got Transforming Vegeta, um, he could function. At, he gives, you know, Pure Saiyan and then uh, Super Class, the buffs. And then he, of course, is also, you know, type advantage against UI Goku. But I don't remember this one being difficult at all. UI Goku, obviously, is a Saiyan. So if you have Tech Khalifa, you could just use the meta with her of the 100% chance to dodge, right? Um, and then, of course, there also is... This is, I, I would say, one of the bigger things... Uh, that matters, but there's going to be two, or excuse me, four new gods of destruction uh, coming as part of part two as well. You get Iraq, who is nothing special. Champa doesn't feel like anything special. Um, Liquor also is not really that big of a deal, although he can double super, which can be problematic. Beerus is the hardest of the batch by far. Beerus is pretty tough. Um, I think this Rage Beerus, once he enters into his rage mode, I think he's the hardest hitting boss in the game. I think I, I I probably would need that fact checked, but he's definitely up there. Um, but he is STR, right? So like AGL UI Goku destroys him. The reason Beerus is tough too, um, is because he starts out as Int. Um, I believe that lasts usually like one turn or two. He just has like a rage bar that you fill up as you're super attacking him, like his Dokkan event. It's sort of the same thing. But it, you can't just be like, all right, I'm running full, like, physical units against his int stage because then, you know, you're cucked against when he transforms into STR. And even if you're running full AGL units, you still have to sort of make do at the start of the fight. This is where AGL UI Goku is far and away the best unit in the game for this stage because he can hold his own against the int Beerus, but then he absolutely dominates um, STR Beerus. So AGL UI Goku would destroy this. Um, by the way... This int UI Goku, um, we could use this moment to talk about him. He is fantastic for the God event. Um, the Realm of Gods team is one of the better teams for this event, especially if you've got, like, you know, LR Evolution Blue Vegeta, UI Goku, this guy. He's not that impressive just right here as base, especially in the God event at neutral. He'll get hit really hard. Him stacking defense doesn't matter that much in the God event. He gets slapped up. But if you're able to transform into this guy, like, he's untouchable. Uh, remember that the first turn this guy transforms, he gets guaranteed go uh, dodge, which is just, this is a ridiculous ability right here, right? Um, so And, you know, then after that wears out, and the next turn, he's got 70% chance to dodge. So this Int UI Goku is crazy. For me, I feel like I would think Int UI Goku is probably the best easy in the game. I think if UI Sign Goku had a 50% chance to dodge as well as this, and he's stacking... And then he transforms and he gets to 70% instead. And then that one turn of guaranteed. I think that would put him as the number one easy A in the game to me. But I still probably would argue Super Saiyan 4 Goku above this guy. I probably like Physical Cooler as well. And then there's turns where Angel Goku is going to look a lot more impressive as well, right? With this guy, it's just like, this guy's good. But then when he transforms into this guy, he's like the best easy A T U R. But you have to get to this first. Not like it's really that bad, right? God Event, Super Battle Road Sages, this isn't that hard to do. There's no turn restriction on it, but you still do have to get there, right? Um, okay, so we talked about the EZA. Um, again, the God Event, right? Like, running a Realm of Gods team with uh, Int UI Goku as the lead works very well for many of these stages, so that's a good way to do it. Um, and then when talking about these four characters right here, remember that they are all dropping. Wait, I could probably do this and the dates are updated? Yeah, the dates are uh, live right there. Um, these four are dropping... Uh, on the 19th, but they're not getting their easy A's until part three. Oh, I lost. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Give me two seconds. All right, let me pull it back up right here. Okay. Uh, these guys are dropping. Uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be like the, it's going to be like the 30th or the 31st, somewhere in there, I think is, is probably when you're going to see these guys, uh, easy A. Um, that's when part three is going to start. Goku and Frieza's easy A. And then, uh, these four characters as well. Right. Um, they're all pretty good. Uh, physical UI, like, I'd probably put them in this order of how good they are. Um, Krillin and Freeze, or Krillin and A-Team, they can look good on, you know, given turns if you really are able to stack them up a lot. I, of course, I'm talking about these characters after their easy A, right? Like, you know, you could link level them now that they get their Dokkan Awakenings, but utilizing them before they get their easy A's, there's not really too much point. I think with this character needed to really be, like, solid, was rather than greatly stack attack, if they just stacked attack and defense, I think that would make this unit a lot better. 
because they're designed for long events anyway. This is not a unit that you're, like, running in, like, Super Battle Road or something like that. So they should have just made them stack defense. And then that could have been a very solid, like, sort of, like, long event option for, you know, Battle of Wits, Joint Forces, Reps, Universal Survival Saga. Um, again, with them fully built up, like, with if you've got this full thing built up, you got this, and then you're getting the double super attacks with the five int orbs. They look good, but, you know, there are better units. Tien and Roshi are a god. I mean, they're sealing or lowering attack, like Spirit Bomb Goku. They get the support right there. They could really build up and hold their own in difficult events. They're super good. Physical UI, I mean, he's stacking, he's dodging, he's supporting, he's got everything as well. And then LR Roshi, I mean, the revival, the seal, the 70% chance of stun. Like, Roshi is just a dominant unit, I would say, easily, for me, the best free-to-play unit in the game. So that is everything um, in the global data download part two. Um, again, part two does last for a while, and there will be a second data download uh, later on. Again, I think Golden Freeze and 17, the top legendary summon banner, you can expect that on or around July 25th. Um, I think is when the top legendary summon banner will drop. Um, skip the shit out of that banner. You don't even need to tell me that. You don't need me to tell you that. The units are not worth summoning. The banner's like the worst banner ever. And Worldwide's coming up for global. If you summon on that banner, you're a moron. 